Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MDR. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, each one represents 30 minutes worth of time. So all this here may look like several days. It's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then just makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I know I'm saying the obvious here, but absolutely crazy, crazy movement. Uh, there's a lot of halts in this one today and uh, the halts were lasting a long amount of time. Um, so just a lot of, uh, a lot of drama, that's probably the best way to put it. Uh, but from the trading perspective now, there's some interesting activity going on. And the the, the, the the interesting activity starts with the fact of, it's not like it just continued to get hammered the rest of the day. In fact, this afternoon, the price actually created a little bit of a bounce. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still plenty of work that needs to be done. So I'm not saying that this implies that, hey, the bottom in it is in and this thing's going back up to $5. That's not what I'm saying, but I'm saying it's at least rational right now. It's at least a logical thought to have that, hey, you know what? Maybe this is some sort of bottom that's trying to form here where it can go sideways and then make another push back upwards. Now, again, I am talking strictly from a trading perspective. So from the investment perspective, I, you know, I, I have no idea, but I'm just looking at it from somebody that likes to trade the markets. And that's what I find interesting. Case in point, let's just say that the price just looked like this. And I'm sitting here and saying, hey, it's looking like this could be the potential bottom. It's looking like this thing is working on trying to get some sideways price movement. You would be totally justified to say, wait, what are you talking about? The price is literally still just going straight down. But that's not the case, right? The case is the price actually not only went sideways, but actually went up a little bit. So again, does that mean that this is for sure the bottom? No, does it mean that it's a, at least rational, is at least a, a logical thought to have? Absolutely, so with that being said, going forward, the level that really stands out to me as support is right down there around $1.65 and nothing fancy behind that. I mean, if you think about it, if the price goes down to $1.65 and then just crashes down through there, well then by definition, of course, this is not the bottom because now all of a sudden the price is at new lows. So like I said, uh, nothing to overthink there. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, the level right there around $2.65 seems to be that first key level to watch. Uh, but really, in, in my opinion right now, uh, I'd be shocked if this thing just snapped right back up. I, I suppose I've seen crazier things. But I'm just curious, can this thing start to at least just go sideways? Going sideways would be a first step uh, and a first good step in the right direction of potentially you know, forming some sort of bottom. So let's see if the price can just simply go sideways and stay up above $1.65. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.